dust in workshops are always a problem, especially cutting timber and MDF. And with this bandsaw, we needed a, um, an adapter part from the extraction port to the vacuum cleaner hose. And so in this particular case with the uh, calipers, we measure the external diameter of the extraction port, which is 59.13 millimetres. And from there, it's to the sketch pad and paper, making adjustments on the fly as we go. Um, a sufficient drawing as to then to be, be able to transfer the, the size and dimensions into Fusion 360. As a beginner user, and I've speeded it up here, it took a, probably about an hour uh, due to my inexperience to create this particular object. But once created, it is then exported from Fusion 360 as an SDL file. And as you can see now, it's imported into a slicer software. Um, this one being Creality Slicer built on Cura. And it also gives you the opportunity, once you've sliced it, um, to be able to look at what the printing might look like slice by slice. And this one will take about six hours and seven minutes to print. And now we're in the office here, the Ender 6 Creality printer we're using with uh, the nozzle temperature 220, the hotbed at 53 degrees, and the room preheated. This is printing a raft for one of the earlier prints that failed. We had a problem with build plate adhesion, where the object being printed midstream would shift on the plate. And we soon discovered that what we needed to do was to clean the build plate with acetone. And um, this is a speeded up view, about 400 times normal speed, over six or so hours of the adapter part being printed in PLA. And of course that printed um, well into the night. And we left the camera and the printer unattended for that time. The room was also heated up with a small blow heater to overcome the problem of it getting too cold at night. We're here in the winter at the moment and build plate adhesion was a problem. Not all our prints were successful, um, but you learn as you go. Um, as you can see, the first half of these prints worked okay before it became dislodged on the build plate. But thankfully with the third attempt and some gaining of understanding of what we need to do, it worked okay. So back in the workshop, it's just fitting the adapter nozzle to the external port and the vacuum cleaner hose. Turning on the dust extractor. And a test run. So we turn on the bandsaw. And no dust. All the dust has been removed and job successfully done.